Okay, here's a schematic I made up. Um, this is exactly what I just described. It is identical to what I just described using an AC waveform using true AC through a, a center tapped transformer. So here if you have 120 volt AC coming into this transformer, you have a center tap, a positive tap, and a negative tap. Okay, and this can be a step down transformer, so we'll just make it 24 volts. Okay, so it's 24 volt transformer. Now I don't have my papers here, so I'm probably going to get myself confused on how these uh, stages actually work. That's no problem. Basically, if I remember right, um, and I did make this idea, it's pretty simple though, it's just some diodes. When you rectify AC, you get waveforms that look like this, if you just use one diode. Here's your ground, zero volts, this will be actually only 12 volts positive. Then on the other side, you have your the rest of your AC waveform here, which looks like this. This is uh, did wrong. Okay, this is still negative. Just move them apart so you can see it. So here's your your full sine wave is right here. But if you use diodes, you can chop that sine wave up. And basically, what I've done is, if you were to make a chart. like this if you had a full sine wave coming in here so if you were to reference this it would look like this okay on your AC and basically one of these diodes is going to create this okay uh, probably on the other peaks. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Then the other one, another one of these dials is going to create this. So I have positive on 50%, then nothing. Then on 50%, then nothing. On 50%, nothing. So on. Then the next diode here, it's actually one here and one here, is going to create 180 degrees out of phase. You're going to have to. You're going to see that other positive peak. Okay. Then the other two diodes actually create negative peaks okay if this was your zero line and then the other diode creates negative peaks 180 degrees out of phase that gives me all of my signals this gives me positive let's see let me write it like this positive um, 0 to 180 this gives me positive 180 360. Same thing here. Negative 0 to 180 and negative 180 to 360. That's a complete cycle 360. I hope uh, I hope that makes sense. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, but I hope it truly does make sense. Okay, so with all that being said, here's how this circuit works okay watch this off a little better so I have three stages three things going on at all times and they're all shifted out of phase okay that's what makes this fun that's what this part does is create those waveforms this part over here creates me three stages so if I were to a truth table look like this It's a bit uh, registry shift. That looks the same thing like my A, B, and C, doesn't it? If I do A, B, and C, then C would come down here, A would be over here, B would come down here, uh, and then B here, C here, A here. See this line? It's a shift registry. That's basically what I'm doing here. So that A, B, and C sequencing matches up with what I'm trying to activate. This chip is a 74LS175. It's a D 
flip flop. Can't spell, sorry guys. D flip flop. There is uh, four of them, but I'm only using three. So these are my LEDs to this chip. This is just for visual. That's all it is. So when this one's off, or I'm sorry, when this one's on, these two are off. When this one's off, it shifts over. This one's on, this one's off. It shifts over again. This one's on, this one's off, this one's off. Just like I wrote in that truth table. Okay. This chip works well. Um, uh, Rev, Rave, one uh, 54 from YouTube. I'm talking with him, and he has tested this part of the circuit, this part of the circuit. This part of the circuit uh, is not tested, but I'm pretty sure it, everything is hooked up correctly, and everything is the way it is. Okay, so basically, you have. Let me go back up. This is the nine by nine. Okay, same schematic, but only with six coils. Okay, first stage. You can see how the wire comes down here, activates this MOSFET and this MOSFET. Since you only have one of these active at the same time, um, L1 and L2, and at the same time, activates L5 and L6. Now what you need to follow is where the electricity comes from to activate these stages. Because if you look at it, um, this one actually comes from here, and L2 actually comes from here. That's positive blank, positive blank, positive blank, negative blank, negative blank, negative blank, okay? That's your negative voltage. That's the signals coming out of here. At the same time, this one's being activated from different signals. Uh, let's see, follow it up here. So you can see this one comes to B, what I call B. Um, and this one comes to C. That's just the opposite. That's uh, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative on two different wires. Okay, so that's my first stage. And this one's off. Because you always have one off when these two are on. Okay, so I hope you understand that. Then it continues to shift. Next thing that happens is stage B. Everything shifts. This one's off, this one's on. Uh, I don't even know how they go. They shift. You can read through the schematic. It makes sense. So that's L1 and L2 you can see here are separate. Um, in the next diagram, L1 and L2 are separate. Now this is the 36 by 18. So we have L1 and L2, L7, and L8. This is one nested vortice circuit. This is one nested vortice circuit. This is one. This is one. This is one. And this is one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's kind of how they are. Actually, the nested vortice circuit itself is one and two, and seven and eight. But this is light blue. This is dark blue because you remember they are on at the same time. You can see here light blue and dark blue are on at the same time. Um, that's why I have this staggered like that and both coils on there. Okay. Basically that is the way all of this stuff functions. This, like I said, this diagram, everything except for the bottom half here, all this stuff up here has been tested and works great. Um, you can do this with a microcontroller or some sort of a programmable controller. That would be the best way to do it. Fortunately, I don't have anything like that, so I've designed a circuit to do it with basic components. Now, you can't modify this too much as far as doing different activation sequences, but if you want to just build it and try it, here it is. And I will be building this trying it out. Um, the last page here, I just talk about what I think and uh, different things. Um, talk about wire length and connectors and things should be perfect or else you're going to throw off your waveforms. I think everything needs to be in sync. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Now, Here's what I want you guys to do, okay? I need everybody, everybody that is working on this stuff, if they do something and they send it, um, if they send me what they've done, the, the schematic, um, any information, I'll be adding it to a PDF, okay? Right here is the link to the PDF. You can email me 
here. Um, give me details. Okay, I need details. The reason I need details is because I will not be changing anything. Okay, I won't be changing any of the data that you send me. I will merely be putting it in a document for everybody to see. That way, if one person's like, oh, rodent coil, like, what is that? And then, you know, you get into it a little deeper and a little, little deeper, guess what? If you find this file, you find that file, and I'll try to make it easy to find, you can download it, and everybody's information will be there. Oh, I want to try this activation sequence. Oh, well, this person got, you know, a little bit of residence out of it. Okay, well, let me try a little bit different activation sequence with that one. So as many details as you can give me, I'll add directly to this document, and it'll all be, all, all be in one location. Okay, that's it. I spent a lot of time on this, and if none of it makes sense, please watch Marco Roden or Randy Powell's videos, then watch this, or come back to this document. Read through this document thoroughly, because I spent a lot of extra time just trying to word things properly and get them uh, understood so you can understand it. If you can't, email me. Uh, you know, we can get on Skype, or um, I may, you know, give my phone number and um, talk about it in person over the phone. Maybe that'll be easier to understand. I'm, I'm okay with that. Let me know. If I get overwhelmed, um, I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Right now, it's getting a little crazy, and um, that's the way life is. This is Russ. Uh, I'm out. Enjoy. More videos to come. Thanks for watching.